Hello everyone, Camilla here from Decodable Readers Australia. I'm excited because today I get to share with you some of the great resources that we have to help develop fluency. Now, before we get stuck into it and open our new resources, let's find out what fluency is. Fluency actually has four components. The first one is all about reading accuracy. Before we can even develop any level of fluency, we need to have a level of automaticity at word reading. Now, how do we achieve that? It's through explicit instruction of letter sound correspondences as well as word blending. And the activities that match or promote that automaticity can all be found in our SOR toolkits. That's our Sound of Reading toolkits through a systematic synthetic phonics approach. Once students have a level of automaticity at word level, they need to move to that sentence level reading. And that's where our next component of fluency really kicks in. That's the rate in which they are reading, the speed. Now, research tells us that conversational speech, the rate of conversational speech, is the best rate for reading. So what we actually need to do is get students to a level of reading that sounds almost conversational or the speed of a conversation. Now, too slow means that the brain is processing the words and won't concentrate on the comprehension or the understanding of text. Also, if we speed too fast, it's going to hinder that understanding of text because we are barking those words too fast. So we really want to aim for that conversational speech uh, rate. And that's where I'm going to show you all about Reader's Theatre. But before we do, let's have a look at the other components of fluency. Background knowledge is the next component we need to consider when building fluency. Having a good understanding of the topic really helps students with their fluency. Having familiar topics that you're reading about or concepts that are relatable to a student is really going to help their fluency rate. Even as adults, when we're reading something that is so complex, it's hard to be quite fluent or even at that conversational level when you really don't understand what you're reading or you can't anticipate what the text is going to be about or what words might be in the text. So having a good understanding of the topic will really help with fluency or building that fluency. And that's where some of our resources really are matched to a beginner reader and the topics that they will be familiar with. Prosody is the next component of fluency that we need to develop. Now, prosody means that intonation, that expression, the emphasis, the phrasing to make reading excitable as well as conversational. When we're having a conversation, we don't just talk in a monotone way. We talk with intonation, we put expression in and our phrasing might be short and sharp when it gets exciting or slow when there's a, a point in time that you need to build excitement. And that's what we need to do with reading. And and that's where also our Reader's Theatre comes in. So let's have a look at our two products today to help build fluency. The first one I actually want to go to is our Reading Fluency Passages. Now these passages are phonics focused. So as you're introducing each letter sound correspondence of our scope and sequence from level five up, so five, six in this box and seven, eight in this box, we have passages that are going to help with the accuracy and the speed. And because they're phonic focused, you can actually introduce these before you introduce the full decodable readers at level five and six, because they step up in each phonic level. So let's have a look, let's open them. This is a brand new pack. They are wrapped in their plastic, so I'm just going to score that and open that up. Here we go, it's tightly sealed. We take the plastic off when we receive them. Once you have your tightly wrapped plastic off, you'll see they come in a beautiful cardboard casing, interlocking section at the back. 
Now inside each pack, this is a level five, six, we've got our level seven, eight here, you'll get two copies of each. So if I just take out this one, this is the phonic focus of the A sound. I have A, I and A, Y, and I get two copies. Now you can use this in multiple ways. You might have students uh, doing a buddy read and each buddy gets one. This one might be for a teacher and have the student copy if you're actually using it for a little quick uh, screener or assessment, or you might have buddy reading and have four students too on each, however you would like to use them. Now they are printed on dry erase paper, which means that you can use whiteboard markers on them. And you can see here a picture of one being used that has uh, the markers with the different color phonic focus being used on that. Now you can also see on here we've got two passages. We've got one passage that's a little bit easier and predominantly single syllable words with just a few multisyllabic words to a more extended passage using the same phonics uh, as the focus but just a little bit more difficult. And what you get the students to do is read as far as they can in a minute. So we'll have a student reading and then we will stop here wherever they stop and we will get their words per minute. We just minus any errors. So we've got how many words read minus their errors equals their words correct per minute. Now you have permission to photocopy the back part of these fluency passages. Now this back part is a good way to track and try and reach the goal of improvement for each child. So day one, day two, day three, day four, so four repeated reads, hopefully building in not only accuracy, but in that speed of reading as well. That reading rate needs to increase. And with repeated reading, it should be increasing each time. So that's one there. You can also see on the back page, there is a guidelines to what needs to be achieved for that year level. Let's have a look at this next resource. I'm really excited about the Reader's Theatre. These are decodable plays that students can engage with to help build that component of prosody, that intonation, that phrasing, that fluency level that comes with repeated reading and presenting. Now we have Reader's Theatre for level four, five, six, seven, eight. There are 10 plays per level and you actually get three copies of each script. That's because each play has three characters. Actually one is a narrator and then two characters. Now the other really cool thing about this is we have downloadable masks. So let's say we've got our pat and our nat. We've got masks that you can download, print and make. The great thing about these means that you can get in character, you can use expression and voice to match the character. We've also left the mouth free so that they can articulate all of it and big wide eye spaces to allow for the student to still be able to hold the text and read it if need. Students do not need to learn the words off by heart. This is about getting to the point of fluency where we've got a little bit of automaticity, we've got conversational speech and we're using that prosody, that expression and fluency even if the text is in front of them and they still need to read a little bit, that's okay. So let's open our resource and have a look. The first thing we need to do is to take off that protective case of the plastic. These Reader's Theatre plays come in the cardboard casing with the little lock at the back. And let's take out one and have a look. They are also printed on that durable dry erase uh, paper or board should I say that are folded in half and you can see the plays here on the front cover of each play You can see who it's starring. So this one is starring nip and pat So you know which mask to print out and use 
And then we have the script and inside you'll be able to see who reads what. It's colour coded. So even if they can't uh, see each picture, you'll say you are Pat and you are the blue writing. There needs to be a little bit of explicit instruction of how to conduct a play and what you need to do. And on the back are the guidelines for the teacher, step by step of how you get your students to be able to participate in a reader's theatre. Right from step one, which is assigning the character, and then a full group read, just to make sure if there's any tricky words, you're working them all out before the repeated reading and the rehearsal process. But they are our beautiful readers theatre. Now, as you go up in the level, so let's have a look at level eight, if I can very quickly open up this tight plastic seal. I'll show you that even though the code in which the words um, contain have complex code it doesn't increase in the amount because it's not about the amount of reading when it comes to reading fluency it's about building that conversational speech rate and building the prosody that uh, expression and intonation so let's have a little look at a level eight this one's based on the book brain strain and you can see here a little bit more writing but it's still just one page. They're meant to be short, sharp little plays based from the book. Now, even if you don't have our books, the stories in here or the plays have a storyline. So it still makes sense even if students haven't read the book. However, I love that these plays are based on our main fiction series and takes a whole story and puts it into live action plays. So there you have it. We have so many amazing resources. We've got our fluency passages and we've got our readers theatre plays that are going to help your students build fluency in a fun and exciting way.